when you find this you will know this is your kingdom spouse this is a confirmation word for someone when you find this one thing you will know this is your kingdom spouse shalom the lord bless you welcome to Papa and marita bliss with pastor honoring i have a prophetic word for someone god says this is your confirmation when you find this one thing you will know that this is your kingdom spouse and this word is coming to someone from the book of proverbs chapter 18 and verse 22 the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord and most often the first thing that i want to let us know about that scripture is people mostly feel like women mostly think that it is marriage that is coming to make you a wife so you can hear someone say something like, I can't wait to be married. I can't wait to be a wife. But actually, you become a wife. That's why you are married. There are women and there are wives. Not every woman is a wife. Not every woman is qualified to be a wife. There are women and there are wives. The woman doesn't have what it takes. There are some basic necessities that are needed for a woman to mature to the level of a wife. The first thing that is basically needed is that this woman should be a helpmate. That's the primary reason why God instituted marriage. This woman should be able to add value to the man's life. This woman should be able to help the man's life be better. Unfortunately, it has, society has replaced that and women want to get married because they need help. But that, and then you, have, you, you are wondering why you have been praying for marriage all this while, but yet marriage is not coming forth. Honey, you don't get married because you need help. Someone will marry you because they realize that you are the help that they need. You have something to add to their lives. You have value. Yes, am I saying a man shouldn't help a woman? Not far from it. Definitely not. But I'm saying you should have something to add to the table. You should have something to offer other than sex. You should have more to offer. By the way, before I continue, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscription button and do not forget that notification bell. And please, if this channel has been a blessing to you and you feel or you are blessed by this content, by this wisdom, you might want to partner with Purpose and Marita Bliss. You might want to give an offerings, maybe just a thanks, just maybe hit on the super thanks. You might just want to sow a seed for your marriage. Anything you are led to do, if you feel led to do it, check the description box. You have the cash app, the PayPal, the mobile money, and then you have super thanks handy for you. You can do anything the Spirit leads you to do. Thank you. Going back to our video. The second thing that a man needs to, that, that, that qualifies a woman from just being a woman to becoming a wife is that you should be a virtuous woman no one wants headache every man is looking for someone who can come to make their life easier happier and better and in as much as you're trusting god for a man who is the same the tendency is you attract who you are you attract someone that carries the same virtues. So when you are a virtuous woman, you will automatically attract the right person. In like manner, a virtuous man will attract. A, a, a good man will attract a virtuous woman. And then the third is submission. One thing that God commands of every woman is that you should submit. You should have the ability to respect a man. Tell a man from morning right till evening that you love them. But if you cannot submit or respect them, then that love is just rubbish. A man interprets respect as love. 
you should be able to know what it means to submit you should know what it means to be in submission you should have an understanding what it means to submit to your spouse you need to submit to your spouse this is very important and guess what all these will qualify you from wife from woman to wife and guess what the person that finds a wife will find a good thing and obtain favor since you met that person can you vow that you've been favored can you say that indeed you found a good thing this that should be a confirmation that you found a wife that should be a confirmation that you didn't just take a woman but you found a wife that should be a confirmation that you found a good thing your life should be better you should find favor with god and with man you should find life easier the bible says one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand can you imagine that it means that when the second person comes into your life your productivity your fruitfulness your blessings your promotion your upliftment it takes you from the point of one thousand to a point of ten thousand meaning that person coming into your life should bring in what more than what at least nine thousand that's how much you will be highly favored when you find that person you will have at least nine thousand worth added to your life how can you be miserable if indeed you found the right spouse how can you still be miserable if you found someone that adds value to your life how can you be miserable if you found someone that makes your life easier and better it doesn't matter the challenges every marriage has its challenges but it doesn't matter the challenges it doesn't matter the difficulties but if you can only find someone that is what all of this that loves you respects you helps you submit adds value to your life brings in nine thousand to the table you are not going to leave them for anything you are not going to walk out on them for anything no you certainly would not do that you certainly would not do that and this will be your confirmation that you found the right person god bless you shalom